Hey, yo, together, and very welcome to the next episode of the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replay! So, yeah, our new Kirk Precinct TE Tournament Edition, oh boy, uh, on the ladder uh, with another TVT today, as you have in the bottom right hand side. In the red, it is Rostofondon. Rostofon. or Rostofondon. Depends on if you if you try it in German or English, I don't know. Rostov on Don or Rostov on Don. And he's playing against me in the blue, in the bottom left hand side of Nuka Precinct. It is Alex Asher. So I'm going for a guess first, while he opens up with a uh, barracks instead. So Rex first against Gas first. Uh, not a huge diff difference as it looks like, but let me tell you, it can lead into a complete different, completely different opening. And those into a completely different game as well. So we will see how this will shape off. Can be very interesting. We will see uh, how the game goes on. Can be quite nice. Or maybe it's not. We will, we will see. But so far nothing much is happening. Not even on uh, a CV scout, which is quite strange. And interestingly, it looks like he's going for a command center right here, instead of down there. Ah, okay, he's going for marines. Why would you do that in TVT? You don't open up, wow, marines in a TVT. Uh, Reaper kill marines, normally. Like, if, if this, phew, I don't know about this. But he's a Master League player, second guess. So, he should know what he's doing, it just looks so strange to me. On the other hand, even though this, this game is not quite old, I don't know much about the actual meta game in TVT at all. In Europe there are uh, some some people... Who? I thought I forgot to, tur to turn on the microphone. Uh, there are some people who play Mac in TVT, even pros like BCQT, I think. And yeah, he is a professional game, I would say. A uh, little cannon if he still plays. So, yeah. Not too many, but some. And it can work. But most of the time you see marine tank against marine tank. Uh, that, that's normally how it works, I think. With medivacs, of course. But the openings are very different. So, Banji openings can work. Double Raven auto turret Harris can work. Uh, Hellion openings, not too much. More likely Cyclone. Or Widowmine Drop, also still common, I would say. But the most common thing, if I'm not mistaken, is one Raven or double Raven opening. So Reaper, Reaper, Cyclone, Raven, Raven, Widowmine Tanks, something like that. And then you transition into Stimp Marines with Tanks and Medivacs. Or potentially mech, but I think if you play mech you have some different opening. Interestingly he's going for a Widowmine. And still not landing his command center, wow! But why? Because I have to say the mineral fields, they are... Yeah, they are done. If you look at it, they are saturated completely. So here comes my small squad. One Cyclone, two Reaper, as it normally is the case. <laughs> and that's the thing, now I can deny and delay this, this landing quite a bit, which, which will lead into even more less SCVs for him compared to mine. Uh, going up here, the Widow Mine didn't get a shot off, wow! I was so sure this would have been triggered, but actually it, it's not. And oh, he almost loses one Marine there. Needs to be very careful. Looks like he's going for a drop. Okay. Not too bad. Behind that I'm going for the Raven. Uh, tank. Marines. I have to say I'm playing a, a different opening. Not the double Raven harassment. I'm going for pushers because that's what I can do. Halfway good. So Raven, Viking, more Vikings, more tanks, more Marines without stim. And pushes ramp, go up and kill him. That's my plan. I don't have a fixed build order yet. There is one in a pick dailies, which is really good, where you go in with four vikings, six vikings, one raven, three tanks and a bunch of marines. Super strong, super powerful, 
Oh, one auto turret not really doing good here. He's dropping, but he can't win this fight, so he's just losing a lot. Uh, the Widow Mine not doing much here due to the Raven. And will this Medivac escape? Where's the boost ability? The Ignite Afterburners? Oh, the Cyclone's so strong. Will it be enough? Oh, so close. Three more shots, I think. Then this Medivac would have died, but he lost some Marines. On the other hand, he now landed the command center. He's getting a third one at the exact same time as I am. Like, wow. My SAV production really bad at the moment. Look at my macro. It's so bad. Oh, God. <laughs> Barfing all over my, my desk because of this bad macro. But he is supply kept as well, so everything is fine. Now going for the three. Yeah, three supply depots, and he can't throw uh, he can't call down supply so this is helping me now look at that ooh ooh rostophodon that's not looking too good but he has two widow mines at the front if i march into that with my push which should come soon then that's disastrous as you can see five vikings i will have by the time i am here should be okay Interesting one missile turret. I'm not sure uh, it's it's okay against drops, but there's still so much space where I can drop. So this is this this is a bit too early. And ah, there you go. Okay, now now it makes sense. At least a little bit more sense. So I am recording. Everything is fine. Reaper are leading. This is good. Okay, not not too bad. So, and in the meantime, he's going for a huge drop, and there's only one tank, one non siege tank. That's not looking good. I killed the Widow Mines and some Marines, but he's dropping right on top of the tank with his army, and this is looking quite good. Stim is ready, he's on top of my production. I rescued one tank in the meantime, slowly but surely, and crawling my way up there. I got one tank, and it got three kills. That's not too bad. I'm attacking his command center there. Landing on top of his tank with my Vikings and oh even the even the auto turret here wow And Vikings kill mechanical units SCVs are mechanical units look at that Wow Nothing he can do about this but lift his his uh, buildings. I lose the command center. That's a big mistake I didn't uh, put those command centers into different corners so they could get sniped his attacking army is not that big two tanks seven marines Nothing compared to my 5 Vikings with the 10 Marines and the tanks I have. He's evacuating his SCVs, so do I. So that's fine. Still looking not too good. I should rescue at least the starboard. I lost the factory. Uh, he's not getting upgrades now. So the upgrades are looking really good for him. I don't have stim, no combat shields, no 1-1. One -one. I have nothing. And because of the turrets, I can't really follow his buildings. Finally, my command centers are floating away. Some SCVs left. I'm killing all his SCVs. Oh no, he needs those. Rescue at least one of them. Come on. Oh, and it died. So now he has no, no SCVs left. And if I kill all the supply depots, then he can't build anything. He might even lose this command center. He has one left, but I have two floating in the air and two more coming up now. And uh, where is his army? Where's his army? Ah, it's following this command center, but he shouldn't get it. And I get his barracks. And this orbital command is so close to being killed. The turrets go down, and I think this is looking quite grim for Rostovodon, as I have tripled his supply. I have 26 SCVs left, so no production currently, but now I'm producing uh, marines. He's dropping the mules. Can I kill the mules before? Oh, uh, one mule left! I should have killed this mule! Oh, that's not looking good! Save the Vikings! Woohoo! So close with the co command center, with the orbital command. Uh, I landed here, dropped some vi uh, mules. Uh, the Vikings trying to get what they can. He still have one supply depot left. So this is why he can't produce, otherwise it would 
be quite GG, but now he has one SCV left. He can start mining, but will it be enough against my 26, 28 SCVs now? I, I highly doubt it. So he has he has the tanks. I shouldn't drop on top of them because the Vikings are so low on HP. He's finding my barracks, so I need to lift those. Uh, maybe I can kill one medivac, that would be nice for me, but I need to be very careful on how I approach this. One one with Sim and combat shields, looking good, getting a uh, uh, barracks here, barracks killed, this command center should be landed already. Planetary, just for the for the for the case I need it. And this is GG. <sighs> nice base trade. His drop was good, I think he lost a little bit too much here. And overall his macro, yeah, those those supply depots were too late. Sadly for him. But good for me, nice game. So with that I'm done. Oh no rally point. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye-bye.